Timothy Tompkins had turned him and tea. The thumbnails were tiny, he ate at least three, and then for dessert, he had onion and ice. He liked them so much that he ordered it twice. He had two cups of ketchup, a pearl and pickle. Delicious, say Tommy D. Well, were a nickel. He folded his napkin and has to add. It's one of the loveliest breakfasts I have had. Assalamualaikum. Hi, teachers and friends. I'm Nohana Kalisha. Today, I want to read the poem with title The Mills by Carla Karskin. Timothy Tompkins had turnips and tea. The turnip, the turnips were tiny. He ate at least three. And then for dessert, he had onions and ice. He liked them so much that he ordered twice. He had two cups of ketchup, a broom and a pickle. Delicious, say Timothy. Well, rolled a nickel. He folded his napkin and has to add It's one of the loveliest breakfasts I have Thank you Hi, I'm Ama The poem is about the meal Timothy Tonkins had turnips and tea the turnips were tiny. He ate this tree. And then for dessert, he had onion and ice. He liked so much that he ordered it twice. He had two cups of ketchup, a prune, a prune, and a pickle. Delicious and delicious, say Timothy. Well, with a nickel, he folded his napkin and hastened to eat. And hastened to eat. It's one of the loveliest breakfasts I've had. Thank you. Hi, I'm Nina. The meal by Carla Kaskin. The muddy top skin had tannies and tea. The tannies were tiny, he ate at least three. And then for his dessert, he had onion and ice. He liked them so much that he ordered twice. He had two cups of ketchup, a prune, and a pickle. Delicious, said Timothy. Well worth a nickel. He folded his napkin and and hastened to add. It's one of the loveliest breakfast I had. That's all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. The meal. Timothy Tompkins had turnips and tea the turnips were tiny he eat at least three and then for dessert he had onions and ice he liked them so much that he ordered it twice he had two cups of chicken a prawn and a pickle delicious said Timothy 
Well, words and nickel. He fold his napkin and he tastes it to egg. It's one of the loveliest breakfasts I've had.